I want you to finally understand the Go High Level Client Portal because it's a very unique way how High Level has combined these different features together. And I promise you, everybody who's watching this video right now can benefit from High Level's Client Portal in one or another way and should have it set up for their business. So check this out. And I'm not just going to show you any client portal. I'm actually going to show you a client portal built by High Level themselves on their own platform, which is why this is on the domain gohighlevel.com. And so this is the client client portal again from high level for the certification community uh, and for people that are either looking to get certified or have been certified. And this is the community part of the client portal. So the client portal specifically consists out of communities, courses, affiliates, and billing and subscription management. And we'll have a closer look at that in just a second, but I just wanted to visualize uh, kind of what this client portal can look like and what all can be part of it. So this is the community part. Within the communities, you can have two different sections. So this is a uh, community for people that are trying to be certified in high level and haven't achieved the certification yet. You can see we've got 1,800 members right here. And then we've got a actually certified community right here with about 300 members. And so I'm personally actually certified as well. Let me show that to you guys real fast. So if you go to the domain directory Dot gohighlevel.com you can find my profile right here Jonathan Schoenberg kind of looks like me right and uh, you'll find other high level certified experts and admins and if you're ever looking for this directory from within your high level account you'll have to go to the agency view you'll click on partners uh, on the left side on that tab and then find a partner and you'll be brought to this link and you'll find high level experts just like myself but before we get too distracted, let's go back into the community section of this client portal. And um, yeah, we're basically within a group now. You can have different channels within a group to kind of section off the important data for different topics like funnels, email marketing could be a channel, uh, domains could be a channel. So you can have different channels for specific topics and that's exactly what I'm building out my my own community right now within high levels client portal. So if you want to sign up for that and learn about all the different features within high level, go ahead and check out the link down below. I've got a free community and a paid community. So just check out the free community and see if you like it. And if you want to ask me a question in there, go ahead and shoot me a question and I'll go ahead and uh, record a loom for you as well. But let's continue. We've got basically this community kind of school Facebook page kind of section right here. We've got a learning section with courses that we can make visible within the community. We can see different members. We have the leaderboard. Basically, they, they recreated school in a better way within high level. And that is, again, the first part of this client portal, the community section. So we're under this tab right here right now under communities. If we now, though, switch to courses, we could have a totally new area with different courses. And it's kind of like a digital experience. That's how I would describe the client portal, a digital experience for your clients where you can engage and manage your clients and just give them some sort of product and feeling of what you are, who you are, who your brand is. And if you're creative about these tabs right here, they don't have to be videos. They don't have to be courses. You could click into one of these tabs and it could have calendar links. You could click into a tab and it could have a form. So really what you make out of this digital experience is completely up to you. And that's why I'm saying any and every business could have a client portal like this where they manage their clients and if you teach your clients how to use this, again, you can be very creative on, and really the possibilities are kind of limitless. So if you wanna check out what I'm building within my client portal, again, check out the link below. But even if we go, for example, into this course right here, it's insane the amount of courses and videos that you can have within just one of these little sections. So <laughs> this is not the best example as it's just a, a, an exam and I apparently I missed uh, three questions, but let's try out this one right here real fast and let's click into this course. I think this might be the actual course. So you can have all of these different sections and if we go into one of these sections, look at all of these different videos that you have within just one section. So that is the courses or again, communities part within this client portal. Let me show you where you can actually find the client portal within your software. So once you click into sites and you're in your account, this is just a dummy account of mine. 
you'll pretty much click on sites, you'll go to client portal, and then once you click on client portal, you'll always be brought to the dashboard. This is just a dummy account of mine, and so I just have one user in here myself, um, but within here, you can send people the link to your client portal. We could generate magic links, invite them, send them login emails, do all that good stuff. And let's jump right into the section, uh, into the settings, because as you can see, my client portal link, link looks a little bit different, and I wanted to show you how you can customize that. So here under settings are, is everything that you can set up and customize for the client portal. We'll go to domain setup, and this is where I just changed the link and URL of this client portal, and I called it subscribe.app.clienthub.net. If you wanted to create a completely custom domain under your domain and have something like my domain is gosmarterflow.com and my client portal domain with my community will or is members.gosmarterflow.com. So if you wanted to set up something similar and have something like members.yourdomain.com, community.yourdomain.com, clients.yourdomain.com, that is very much possible. You can add it right here. You just have to set up a simple CNAME record. I've got a video around how to set up domains like that. Uh, so check that out if you need help with that. But so these are the settings. You can personalize the domain. And what I love about this, this is completely underrated feature within high level. If you have your own domain, like subscribe.app.clienthub.net, members.gosmarterflow.com, there's no distraction. There's absolutely no distraction. If you go in and build a community within school, you're competing for your client's attention with other school communities. They can go, they're, they're in school, they can click on one school community and easily click into the next one within a second. If your client is though on your own domain, within your own client portal, within your own community, it's, it's impossible to go anywhere else pretty much. Uh, unless they open up a new tab, obviously. <laughs> but it's a lot less distraction-free uh, zone where you can where you can really focus in on the client and have them in, in your environment. And again, you're not competing for the attention with other school communities and whatnot. So let's go back to settings right here and let's go into app permissions. Because with these app permissions, this is where you toggle on and off what does your client see when they hit this button right here? Do they see communities? Do they see courses? Uh, do they see affiliates? Do they see billing and subscription? Those are the four main sections that this client portal enables. And so if you wanna to toggle one off and like, hey, I just want communities and billing and subscriptions, you'd have it set like this and then they cannot see those other tabs. I recommend having them on um, and again, we've reviewed communities, we've reviewed courses, but something like affiliates, like any business can benefit from an affiliate system. I, for my own SaaS, have a similar affiliate system to High Level's affiliate system, where you get 40% monthly recurring commission if you refer a SaaS client to me, and a second tier where if you uh, your referrer refers someone, uh, you get a 5% override commission. And so all of that can be built within High Level's affiliate system, and you can get to that affiliate system by going to marketing, and then affiliate manager, and you'll be brought to, yeah, where you can set up an affiliate system within high level. So again, the client portal is the client facing digital experience that your clients can leverage to engage with, yeah, your community, your courses, your affiliate system, and their billing and subscription. So I hope now you understand how powerful this portal can be. If we scroll down here under this section, we can see we can uh, select a default home or landing page. Um, so definitely just click through these settings, uh, click on all the buttons, change all the stuff, and don't be afraid to break things. One of my mottos within High Level is go fast and break things. So click through, like add a portal name, you know, add a portal description, add a brand colors, uh, upload a favicon, just upload some sort of images and see how it changes. But what it'll basically change from here is these colors right here. It'll change the name of the community. And um, yeah, you could upload logos, favicons, all that good stuff. So don't be afraid to break things in eye level. Just do, do, do. And then if you have questions, comment them down below. Um, reach out to a support specialist. But I see so many people being afraid of changing things. Um, so just do, do, do. 
and you can always fix everything in hindsight if needed. But often, if you just do, 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 it'll actually be good. So check out those uh, branding settings in the client portal as well. And let's go to email settings uh, where we can basically set up kind of like notifications. When, when do we wanna notify people via email about certain things um, specifically for your community? So definitely pretty cool as well. And then the branded mobile app is part of this as well. This is an extra fee. And once you click on get started, you can see that it's a $79 per month subscription. Uh, this is also something that you can rebuild within the agency view. So you can white label the general high level app, but then under reselling, I think if we're now under the agency view, you can see you've got this branded client portal app right here as well. And so the actual price is $49. If you resell it for 79, you're making $30 a month in profit. So that's pretty cool. And there's definitely some clients that might want that app. But if you wanna save this money or your client wants to save this money, you don't have to have a branded mobile app. You can also download the app called Collab. It's high levels app, it's spelled with a K and uh, it's just not white it's it's gray label basically it's like lead connector it's not white label it's it's not branded it's gray label something in between so collab is their gray label app for this client portal if you want to learn more about that app you can go to help.gohighlevel.com and just enter it right here uh, just spell it just like this or you can just go ahead and download that app it kind of looks like that that logo right there it's just a big k with some purple and some blue uh, so definitely recommend your clients downloading that but yourself downloading that as well it's a separate app from lead connector with that being said let me visualize the affiliate tab within this client portal real fast basically i've got this tab right here again this is my kind of membership site that i'm uh, i've built it's called members.gosmarterflow.com and uh, this is a client of mine who's part of my affiliate system. And uh, so once you're under the affiliate tab, uh, right over... <clears throat> so once you click over here on the affiliate tab, you'll basically be brought to this page and you can uh, see what kind of campaigns you're part of, how many leads and customers, how much commission, all that good stuff uh, that you have. And again, this affiliate system is built in high level and the client portal is just the visualization, the client facing data that your client can see when they're part of your affiliate system. And so this is the dashboard under sub affiliates. Uh, they don't have any sub affiliates yet. Uh, under leads customers, we can see the leads uh, that they might have and the customers. Again, this person is relatively new and uh, just got their, new, uh, their first uh, affiliate payment. Uh, so I'm excited for them. And then uh, under commissions, we can see how much commissions we've earned. And under media, you could upload certain logos and anything that the client might need to be a good affiliate. So I still have to work on this. I've got my logo right here, uh, but a pretty cool system again. This last and fourth section with billing and subscription is relatively new. Uh, today is actually the first time that I'm seeing it. It might be active already, it might not yet be, but if I had to guess, this is where for the community, you can manage your billing and subscription, update your credit card, do all of that good stuff. So check it out and it might be live by the time that you see this video in your account and just click around, click around through high level. Uh, there's so much potential, so many different things that you can build in high level. I hope you see the potential and the power of this client portal and how you can easily create a product because so many people sell services and they don't productize their services. But if you have a course, if you have some sort of lead magnet, you could easily productize it within this community or within the courses, uh, within this client portal and have your clients engage with you and your brand without you having to spend any time on them and just you know, fall in love with your brand before you even have to sell any of your time. So very, very powerful. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Uh, check out the free links of my free community uh, down below as well. Shoot me an email. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I'm excited to uh, record more videos here in Bali. It's Friday night right now. It's 6.46 p.m. But we're here out here working. We're out here hustling. So I hope you find inspiration in that last statement because oftentimes entrepreneurship is hard and you got to do the hard things. I'm tired. I didn't want to record this video, but I did it and now I can relax and relief. Um, so go out there, be someone, do the hard work that you don't feel like, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.